My name is Courtney Godfrey and on September 15, 2017, my life changed forever. I was on a boat with family members, my sister, her husband, my husband, a friend, and we made a fast turn and I went flying off the boat. When I surfaced out of the water, they were all standing up on the boat looking for me. And you could see the sense of relief when I finally surfaced. And the first thing that came out of my mouth was my leg, my leg. And I pulled up my leg thinking I was going to see a broken foot, a broken ankle, and I saw something that I can't unsee. You know, I grabbed onto one nurse and I said, please, just tell me the truth. And she said, it's gonna be okay, honey, we've done wonderful things. And one resident came over to me and she said, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. There's a large part of your foot missing and we're not gonna be able to save your foot tonight. And that was the moment that I found out that I was going to be an amputee for the rest of my life. Hi there everybody, out of anesthesia and out of surgery. Uh, they just um, took a little bit more of my leg just to um, give me a little more mobility, give me the possibility of living a normal life. The first time I saw my leg, my new leg, was emotional. It was, I can't describe it, because you never think you're going to see your leg with the bottom half missing. I was surrounded by family and we all just cried. We all just stood there and cried. Thank God the doctor is here. It's all right. You're good. It's okay, sweetheart. We can cry. It's okay to cry. Mm -hmm. And here? No matter how much you prepared yourself for that moment, it was still hard. So I'm going to stand up, but it is that, like, the bottom of my calf. You ready for this? Yeah. One hand on the bed. One hand on the bed. I appreciate it. Take your time. It's just that cramping in the leg, but here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Ain't, ain't nothing gonna get me down. I'm working out, I'm working out, working out in the hospital. <laughs> this is my new hair salon, <laughs> Kelly Godfrey. Stylist. Kelly Godfrey Hair Salon, hospital hair salon here. Combination flower store. If you see this amount of love in your life, you have this many friends, this many gifts, this much love coming in, how can you not have a positive attitude? How can you not say, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to do something with this. I didn't know so many people loved me. <laughs> wow. The sisters are working out. They're working out. I'm rubbing my knots. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a little bit more like home with mm -hmm. Bruno in here. Go. Here we go. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Ready to go home? Yeah. Work it, girl. <laughs> Work it.
So I've been having a lot of phantom pain in my amputated leg and we've read online that mirror therapy works. It's where you put your foot in front of the mirror and it tricks your brain into thinking that you've got two legs still. I don't know exactly how it helps, but we're trying everything because the phantom pain has really been bad the last couple of days. I had moments where I, I had moments where I screamed out, God, why, why, why did I lose my foot? Why me? My husband and I have cried tears, millions of tears, wondering why us? Why us? You got this, Coco. You got this. You don't need anybody to tell you. You know. There are two ways you can go with this. You can be depressed and you can let it ruin your life. Or you can take this and you can make this into something big. And you can thrive. And I'm choosing the latter. It's so heavy. So Look at me, Mom! This is not as enjoyable as I imagined it. Can I maybe try one hand? Oh! No, let's, let's try two. One week since I've had my new prosthetic leg, and uh, it's a lot harder than I thought it was. It's a big learning curve. No matter how much it hurt, how frustrating it was, how much I hated it, I put that leg on every day and I just kept trying. Lots of setbacks, lots of ups and downs, but one day everything just clicked and I was off. And all of a sudden, you're just knocking out firsts and returning to all the things that you love to do. Biking, going into the ocean for the first time. Things that you weren't completely sure you would ever do again. out on the other side of this. I've come out of the darkness. And while I wish that I never had to go through this, I can honestly say it's made me a better person, a more loving person, a kinder person. It's made me the person that I've always wanted to be.